Hi everybody, it's me Lala. Thanks for stopping by to watch this video. Happy Monday everybody. Today is the second day of Vlogtober. Um, it is Monday and I hope that everybody has had a great start to the week so far. We are starting a new week so we need to get things in order and we need to TCB, right? Right. Those of you that have been with me for a while know exactly what we mean when we say TCB. So anyway, we are going to start um, the month of Vlogtober talking about the seasons. We are. We're going to talk about the seasons. So if you are fortunate enough to live in a part of the country that you can experience all four seasons throughout the year, then you're pretty fortunate. You are. You're pretty fortunate. Um, not all of us are that fortunate. Some of us, you know, live in a cooler climate all year long, although we do experience a little bit of variation as the seasons progress through the year. Some of us don't, and we live in a very warm climate, like, you know, over 100 degrees for over 100 days in a row. And we don't get the variation of seasons. And that can be a good thing if you like that kind of weather, which I like that kind of weather. <laughs> I do. I do. So my question to you today is, what is your favorite season? What is your favorite season? Now, I know, I know, I know that everybody is going to say fall everybody's gonna say fall not me not me because I'm not everybody <laughs> I'm not everybody I do not look forward to the colder weather and fall to me indicates that colder weather is coming now, there are good things about fall that I do like. I do like the trees changing, the leaves on the trees changing colors. I do like switching our, our uh, menu, our household menu, over to more comfort food and, you know, that kind of stuff. I do like the fact that I, you know, you cozy up the house, you bring out the extra blankets and, you know, things like that. But I don't like the lack of sunlight. I don't like the cold weather. I don't. I'm a, I'm a warm weather girl. I'm a warm weather girl. I was born and raised in the South. Grew up without air conditioning. My parents didn't get air conditioning until I had left the house. <laughs> I know, right? Our air conditioning was a fan in the window. That was our air conditioning back in the day in the South. So anyway, my favorite season, as you have guessed, is summer. I do like spring, but again, spring to me is kind of like fall, where it's kind of like a crapshoot every day as to what the weather's gonna be. And, you know, I do like spring because of the blooming of the flowers and the plants coming up out of the ground. I do like the smell of the earth during the spring. Just like we have seasons where our weather changes and the climate changes because of the seasons changing, We also have seasons of our lives. We do, we have seasons of our lives. And if you think about spring, summer, winter, and fall, and then you think about, you line it up with your life, you can kind of tell what season of your life you are in, right? So when you're young and you're a baby and you're a child and you're a teenager and you're a young adult, and you're, you know, moving into a more mature, hopefully, adult age, um, that is the spring. 
And then when you're firmly in adulthood, right, and you're carrying responsibilities, responsibilities like adults are supposed to do, because that's what adults do. They do. They do. Adults are responsible people. That's the summer of your life. And then you move into middle age, which is the fall of your life. And then you move into older age and you're in the winter of your life. So just as the seasons change outside, we go through seasonal changes in our lives. And I prefer summer. I'm a summer girl through and through and through. I don't know if it has anything to do with the, the time of the year that you were born in because I was a summer baby when I was born. So it was very, very hot and it was very, very fabulous and it was very, very sunny and that's how I like it. The hotter, the better. Now humidity, I can take it or I can leave it because, you know, depending on where you are in the United States, during the summertime, it can be very, very humid, oppressively humid, or it can be pleasant. You know what I mean? So anyway, I prefer summer. I love the flowers in the garden. I love the sunshine that you can go and sit outside and warm your bones. I love the fact that it gets sunny it's you know the sun comes up early and it goes down late so you have a lot of sunlight throughout the day i love that i do fall to me means darkness it means cold although there are good things about that because it means turtlenecks it does it means turtlenecks and you all know that if i could get away with it I would wear turtlenecks 365 days a year. I certainly would. <laughs> I certainly would. But I do like fall because of the scents that you can smell during fall. The fact that everybody is kind of getting ready to hibernate for the winter time. Now, where we live here in northwestern Pennsylvania, we can experience during the cold months fall into winter we can experience some pretty extremely cold temperatures and um you know it'll everybody kind of goes inside and doesn't come out until spring up here and so you don't get to see your neighbors a lot you kind of keep in touch with them through emails and through social media and things like that and <clears throat> but once spring comes People are start to go outside again. They start to take care of their yards. You know, they're, they're planting their flowers and things like that. And I don't like to be cold at all. At all, I don't like to be cold. And for me, if I'm hot, it's easier to be, it's easier to get cooler than if I'm cold. It's not as easy to get warm if that makes any sense at all. But there are things that I look forward to for fall, like I have said. One of the things I'm gonna be looking forward to is putting our down comforter on our bed. We got a real down comforter for our bed. We did, we did. And this'll be our second year having our down comforter. And it is wonderful. So you know we use flannel sheets 365 days a year. And now we have the down comforter. But we don't use that in the spring and summer. So we only use it in the fall and the winter. So once our, once our evenings, our nights start to get like below 40 degrees, that's when we'll bring out the down comforter. And we will switch the summer comforter out for the down comforter on our bed. And Louise will get the same thing but as you can hear I have my little electric Duraflame uh, fireplace heater going right here 
the kitty cats love to lay in front of it in the evening times. They do, because they like to have warm bones too. They do. So anyway, my favorite season of the year is summer. It is summer. It has always been summer. It will always be summer. So please share with me in the comment section down below, what is your favorite season? What, if you would like to share what season you are in your life, you can do that too. And if you have any favorite things about fall, let's not, let's not, let's not be unicorns, okay? Because unicorns now are a dime a dozen. There's nothing special about unicorns anymore, okay? So, other than pumpkin spice, right? Because that is so overrated and so overdone. It is. What would be your favorite thing about fall? What is your favorite thing about fall? What is your favorite thing about fall? I... I have a couple of favorite things like we've like we've discussed, but tell me something that is your favorite thing other than pumpkin spice because that is so overdone. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about fall? What is your favorite season of the year? And thank you for stopping by to spend a little time with me this evening. I hope that you are all doing well. I hope you have a great week. Please come back and spend a little time with me tomorrow as we go through the month of October celebrating Vlogtober. I hope you are happy, healthy, and safe, and I will see you all again tomorrow.